here we go again today in Talbot shop where I'll show you what's been going on and what's going to be going on the speed sausage the project world's fastest RC car I'm trying to get it to go 250 mile an hour we had it at Rossoff for its first run and that video is going to be the next video now I'm going to tell you now we had massive tyre issues this here is one of the wheels here wheels and tyres look this is this piece that's what's left of it so you got to wait for the video that's next video next couple of days i'm still editing the video and it's probably going to end up being like half an hour to like an hour long once i finish editing it so next day or two or three or soonish um that video will come the original speed car ran that at the same event and we had esc troubles the second speed car with a joint hobby wing also problems this is one of the wheels off for that also all the foam completely gone that was in the last video also a lot of people keep saying kev why don't you just use rubber tires well the fastest i've ever heard of someone going with rubber tires is like 170 mile an hour after about 150 the rubber just flies off so foam even though the foam does fly off it does last a lot longer than rubber so we really do need a manufacturer to come out with a tyre that's going to hold but I'm working on something. Behind here I'm working on a secret tyre project that hopefully is going to take these crazy speeds that we're asking from these cars nowadays. And in that box there I'm testing out some secret tyres from a company too. I can't show you anything yet but I will do at some point. In this box here we have a Talbot Spec X Max. I did a couple of videos on it and someone won it in one of my competitions. So the winner of that competition was Bruce Hood from the USA and I'm going to be shipping that off tomorrow. I've got another competition going on at the moment and that is for this M2C Spec Traxxas XR2. No. XRT even. I've already done a video with that car. It's got the full M2C upgrade package on it. It's got the big block hobby wing motor. The thing is an absolute beast. Go back and watch that video if you haven't seen it. And new viewers have got a chance to win it. I'm going to put details to all the competition and everything down below. So click that link and you guys can have a chance of winning it. <laughs> The monster truck is back on its little wheels. I've got to do a little bit of work on it for the next show. <laughs> got the big tyres all lined up there. The rear steering ram was leaking a little bit of fluid, but it's kind of stopped. I tightened it up a bit and it seems fine, so I might leave it. On these tyres, we've got to cut a little bit off of these lugs because apparently when you slide, this can dig in and it can make the truck roll over. You cut these down, it's supposed to make it slide a bit better. Lambo is probably going to go twin turbo. And I've been chatting with Monster Jam about the possibility of me maybe taking part of Monster Jam jam so i want to do the english monster jam and also the american monster jam so i've actually got another truck planned to build over in america at some point and then hopefully i can take part in the american monster truck scene at some point but i've got quite a lot going on at the moment so i can't exactly say when but it's going to be at some point all going to plan so i've seen a few comments recently of people being saying oh kev's not been posting much what's been going on you've done a video saying you're going to move to the isle of man and the next two videos was in england well i went to the isle of man to visit if you go back and watch my video called i'm leaving i went to the isle of man for holiday and i explained it all there so i'm not going to explain it all again now of my reasons for moving there but go and watch that video and you'll see why so then i came back we did the rosser event in wales with the speed cars and then, this, just this last week, I went to the Isle of Man again to view some houses with the intention of actually buying a house. I found a house, I put in an offer, um, they accepted. So now we just got to sort out all the legal work, all the paperwork, all the legal stuff. And then I'm going to move over there, which is going to be around about November time. So I'm going to be here until at least then. Now I'm going to keep this shop here for now so I can still go backwards and forwards and stuff. But ultimately, I'm... I, I'm gonna, I wanna get a shop again over in the Isle of Man, move everything completely over. The house that I'm gonna buy is just like a normal size house. I was originally really looking for a house, like a farmhouse, with a little bit of land and some outbuildings so I can have all my shop and land for playing with the RCs and play with the monster truck all in the same location. To do that, I'll need a mortgage and going to the Isle of Man is a bit more difficult for an English person to get a mortgage. And then especially how my business is structured and all that, without going all into it all, uh, for me to get a mortgage in the Isle of Man, maybe I could get one, but it's going to be a little bit more tricky. So, normal house for now, and because of all the tax savings, I can save up for my dream house a lot quicker. And hopefully in the next year or two, I could buy my dream house with all the land and the outbuildings. And then we can have all the RC, all the monster truck and all the, the everything all together, all in one plot of land. That's the plan anyway. Absolutely love the place. I've got two videos coming out. 
uh, from the Isle of Man. Uh, one crawler one, one basher one where we checked out some different locations and I can't wait to move there. I mean, the island is an absolute paradise when it comes to RC. There's places for crawling, places for bashing. I mean, for making YouTube content, you know, for you guys, it's, it should really step up the videos and make the videos a lot better. Full waffle, bloody waffle. We got this Kyosho Mad Wagon. So we got to do a little unboxing of that. And, uh, well, it's already unboxed. But Mick from Kyosho wants me to take it out to a skate park and give it a hiding just to see how good it is. Uh, here is the latest Inferno TKI3 that Mick is building for me. I know, I know, I know. I still haven't raced this one, but this one's limited edition. So I think we're going to leave it as a shelf queen and then we're going to race the new one. We got the Oxidine Marine speedboat coming out. I've got it all ready to go. This is made from carbon Kevlar. The thing is supposed to be the world's fastest ready to run boat. It's supposed to do like 109 mile an hour. And then I've got some speed propellers for it as well. That's going to make it go even faster. I'm hoping to take it out uh, next week all going well so Stempy's gonna come Max is gonna come this time as well we've got a bigger boat so like a dinghy thing that we can all sit in and then we've got that boat to run we've got another boat down there this one here as well we've got a banged special boat there I've just got this body here from killer bodies check out the detail so let me know in the comments what you think I should put this on I've still got this SEX 10 pro kit to build I don't think this is really gonna be suitable for that but we'll find something to put it on monster beetle build coming up this one's gonna be a little bit crazy still got to fix this jalopy still got to build this this jalopy, when we went crawling in the Isle of Man, I was so impressed with the quality of this TRX-6. It went almost everywhere that the pro crawlers went. It just had a little bit sticking out, so we kind of got rid of it. <laughs> Video soon. The Traxxas XRT that you guys can win in the competition. I haven't got it here at the minute because it's at Redfin Models getting a full service and a full rebuild. We've done it. I've filmed another video with it. It's still to come out and it got a little bit broken, we had issues with the diffs. So that's gone to Redfin Models uh, to be properly serviced and so that the winning person gets a perfectly working Traxxas XRT with all the M2C upgrades and the big block power and the RAS shiffering, perfect pass servos. It's basically the ultimate XRT, like, like the best. And one of you guys can win it. Link to that down below. My next show with the monster truck is August the 20th at Santapod. So head over to the website santapod.com and come over and watch me do my show with the monster truck. I came second in freestyle last time. <laughs> This time, I want to come first. I want to beat Tony from Swamp Thing. That's the goal. So, you lot can all come along. You can meet all the drivers. You can meet me. So, head over to santapod.com. UK Monster Truck Nationals, 20th of August. I'm going to be there. The crew's going to be there. And it'll be so epic to come and see some of you guys there as well. Link to that is going to be down below as well. Get your tickets. Right, next video, Speed Sausage. Speed <laughs> Sausage.